Can you see how festive I am? I'm wearing a hipster reindeer holiday sweater. Jingle bells are ringing, holiday choirs are a-singing, and here I am to do a makeup tutorial. As we all know, Christmas is a time for fun festivities, family gatherings, and friendships coming together to celebrate this wonderful holiday. This is going to be a very toned down makeup tutorial in my personal opinion. It's not going to be anything too wild. No Christmas trees on my face, no reindeer antlers popping out of my head, no like, I don't know what else the fuck you do for Christmas that's wild. I'm going to go ahead and do my base off camera to just save some time. You guys can go ahead and do whatever base you like, use some concealer, use some foundation, use whatever you're comfortable with, and I'm going to focus in on the eyes when I get back. So my base is done and my eyebrows are on, so I'm just going to go ahead and work on the eyes. I'm not entirely sure what color scheme I'm going with because you know, your girl likes to go in blind. 2,000 years later. Yeah, okay, I think I have a rough idea. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with the warm category and I'm gonna grab, uh, uh, I'm gonna grab this color right here from, it's called Weekend from the Center Stage Palette. Um, this is, like I said, one of my favorite palettes of all time. Actually, pause. I'm gonna use some tape, and I don't have any cute, like, rainbow tape like all these YouTubers have. So I'm just gonna use my, like, packing tape that I have on hand. We got some tape on. I look kind of ridiculous, but it's fine. It's part of the process. Who knows if this will rip off my base makeup. If so, it's okay. We'll just fix it. So like I was saying, we're going in with Weekend. And we're just smoking that into the outer corner and just a little bit over like the center of the lid. This is my stupid eye, so it might not do what I want it to do. It might be crooked, but it's okay, we'll fix it. That in itself is just like a really pretty Christmas color, I think. It looks a little more orange on camera from what I'm seeing, but it's a lot more warm. And even if it is, I'm gonna go in with Havana, which is like the red color in the palette, and just take that on the edge of where I just put this color. And we're just gonna warm this bad boy up. I'm just gonna take these off because, oh, it didn't actually like remove about half my makeup off. Oh, and it actually worked on both eyes this time. How nice. But basically that's all I'm gonna really do for the outer corner. Maybe I'll darken it a little bit later, but I'm gonna use like a finer detail brush to do that part. Further redden the look with the color Tiki from this palette, the Bright Lights Pinky Rose palette. And this one is more like a neon color, but I don't really think that the purpose of it is gonna be for me to like add more color. It's more just for me to redden up the look, like warm it up. We're kind of losing a little bit of that dimension that I had earlier. So I'm gonna take a denser blender brush, like something a little bit more rounded. And I'm gonna go in with, uh, what's this color called again? Havana, the red one, and just like deepen it right in the edges, like so. I'm gonna go into my Juvia's Place palette and take the color Ada right there. We're just keeping the edges super, super warm. Try to be careful not to mess up that line even though my natural eye shape already does that for me. But I am going to do a cut crease. So I'm going to take a nice little flat shader brush and my concealer that I used under my eyes or whatever concealer you're feeling. And then I'm just going to roll a little bit on the back of my hand and start working in. Get my mirror all up and personal. I find doing a cut crease incredibly difficult. So like power to people who can do it without even thinking. I'm not one of those people. I feel like I wanna take it to right where the ball of my eye is so that I'm not taking it too far. Ugh, see what I mean? I like took it too far up. Ugh. I'm just 
just gonna stop right there before I like fuck it up even more and do the other eye. Kitty, can you hush? I'm focusing. I don't know, I really don't understand how they get like perfectly crisp lines in these makeup tutorials, but you know, we're just gonna go with what we have right here because this is realistic, you know, this is me on a normal day. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with whatever was left over on my dense brush and just kind of blend out that edge. Now for what I'm going to put over top, that is still up for debate, but I think I'm going to cave and do gold. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with Dahlia. Is that what it's called? Da oh, Dahia. Dahia? I can't, I can't tell if that's what it's trying to say. I'm going to go in with that color right there on a the same packer brush that I used for my concealer because it's now sticky and it will pick up a lot more color and just press that into where I put down the concealer and kind of blend it and tap through A little paler of a gold than I kind of wanted, so I'm gonna go in with Casablanca right here with the giant hole scraped out of it and do that closer to the edge. We're gonna go in with the, the brush again and the one with the leftover red and kind of like smear downwards with it. So I'm like holding it like this instead of sideways and going down along the line of my eye that where the colors split and kind of just going along the ball of my eye and voila mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in with a nice big fluffy brush and just dust under my eyes from where there might be a little bit of fallout I'm just gonna go in and do my bottom lash line with a little bit of that brown that we've been using I'm going to go in under the lash line with whatever leftover gold I have and just drag it underneath to meet that red. I'm going to go in with a combination of my two favorite liners, the Schwing from Benefit and the Roller Lash from Benefit. So I'm going to use the Roller Lash to outline and then the Schwing to uh, fill in. I'm gonna try to keep it thin in the front and get thicker as I go to the end. Honestly, the roller liner is so good, I kind of don't even need the swing sometimes. But I like the opacity that the swing gives. And I like that it gives me, like, it helps me thicken the edges while staying sharp, you know? My only issue with the Schwing is that if you open up your eyes too quickly before it's dried, it will dip, bleed into your crease. But the plus side is when it dries, it's matte as fuck and it looks really cute. Whenever you try to make your eyeliner look even, it's almost like virtually impossible. So I'm just gonna stick with what I've got right here because this is as good as it's gonna get. I'm obviously in a very glammy, glammy mood and this is probably the most makeup you guys have seen me wear on this channel. But I'm gonna go in with some fake lashes, which is a rare occurrence to me. Lash Pop Lashes, I'm gonna use the So Money eyelashes. These are my favorite lashes that I have and that's saying nothing because I literally own like three pairs and I have these nifty little eyelash pliers I don't know <laughs> and I'm just gonna use those to try and put them on because I've never done that before and I feel like a beauty guru if I do I honestly like to think that I have long enough lashes that this shouldn't make that much of a difference but like look at how lush those lashes are oh. I feel like a queen. 
but I also feel like I have a, a like a, a visor on my eye. <laughs> Let's just take a moment to admire this because I feel fire. Usually when I'm wearing lashes, fake lashes, I like to add more volume to my natural lashes than length and curl. So I'm going to use my um, ColourPop mascara and just kind of dig into the root of my lashes. I'm going to go in with my Bad Girl, Bad Girl, Bad Gal Bang mascara and put that on my lower lashes. That's basically all I'm doing for the eyes, so now I'm going to move on to the rest of the face. I'm going to take the bronze, uh, Luminous Bronze Light from Hourglass bronzer and just bronze my face. I'm using this bronzer like just aside from the fact that I always use it because it is very luminous so it's going to fit in with the amount of highlight that I'm going to put on which is going to be obscene. Tonight I want to be complementary to the Christmas lights that are going to be around us. It's kind of like I want it to be a metaphor for the beacon I am leaving for Santa to come and give me fucking presents because 23 years man still hasn't happened. On that highlighting note we are going to be busting out two of my favorite highlighter palettes. And we're gonna keep it rosy. So I'm going to go in with Goody Two Shoe and Good As Ghetto. So um, these two right here. We're gonna go in with Mary Luminizer, my tried and true for the last however million years that this thing has been on the market and just casually blind myself, you know? Honestly, if this highlighter ever gets discontinued, I'm pretty sure the whole world would have a fit because it is the best highlighter ever invented. And so now that NASA is blowing up my phone telling me to stop because their ships are all crashing, let's move on to the fun part, the lips. Even though I am a very firm believer in red lips and red lips all the way for Christmas, I feel like with a makeup look like this where we kind of have the red, the gold, all this drama going on, I want my lips to be neutral. I'm going in with my stripped down MAC pencil and lining my lips. So there we go, we got a little beige base. Then I'm going to go in with Virgo Moon from Colourpop. It is a nice brown nude and we're just going to put that over top. Now if you still feel like your lips are missing that mistletoe fire, then feel free to add a little gloss. I'm going to go in with Moon Child from Colourpop. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look, and if you did, please feel free to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe because you know your girl is on that regular upload schedule. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one.